Look okay, everybody, it's Todd here, All Things Archery and Shooting. I have a review for you today. Today we're doing a review on this 8-inch survival hunting knife. I paid $8 for this at, um, at Harbor Freight. It was $9.99 plus I had a 20% coupon, so $8. What I'm planning on doing at the end of this year, um, I'm doing a self-hunt out in Utah on 21,000 acres of federal land. I'll be hunting by myself in a tent, and I'll be gone for roughly 10 days hunting. And I'm trying to put together a good hunting outfit. So this new series I'm going to be putting together here is going to be a series to do with um, solo hunting that I got coming up. And I'm also going to film that elk hunt too when I get there. So it's going to be an elk hunt in Utah and I'm, I'm getting everything prepared for the solo hunt up there. So I'll be going through some different survival things, tents, sleeping bags, fire starters, everything in future videos. So be sure to look for that. It's going to be a new series. I think it should be interesting. Let's get back to the beginning. The first thing we're going to do is a good knife. You always should have a good knife when you're hunting, okay? And a lot of y'all know me, I like to find a bargain when I can. So I came across this at Harbor Freight the other day. It was $9.99 plus 20% off of my coupon. So eight bucks for a knife. Now this is an eight inch blade knife, a survival hunting knife. It's supposed to have all kind of stuff in the handle. It comes with a sheath. Um, it is stainless steel blade on it. It's supposed to be recorded. It's says razor sharp out of the um, precision. Laser sharpened right out of the package. It says right here in the back. So let's go ahead and put a test on that, see how this knife performs. Maybe I'll take this one and go hunting, okay? First, let's get it out of this package here. I hate these blister packs. You guys hate blister packs? I hate blister packs. All they do is get people hurt. All right, so, okay, there you go. I have this pack, all right? All right, first thing I want to look at is I'm going to look at the blade itself, okay? It's made in China, of course, as right there on it. It is, well, it could be a little bit sharper. It's not that sharp. It's got a nice tanto point on the front of it, though. Double edge. It's got like a, a fish scaler saw on the back of it. Um, it's all aluminum, okay? It's not a full tang, I can tell you that by looking at it. Let's see what this is in the back here. Ugh, man. They weren't kidding when they put this thing on. Ooh, that top is definitely on tight. Hmm. Well, that's why. It's got a nice rubber seal around the top of it to keep water out. And it's got a little compass built in. Check that out. Get you a better picture of that. It's got an oil filled compass in it, which is kind of nice. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see what's in here. That's it. Like I said, it's not a full tang. As you can see, the tang stops at the very bottom, so it's not a full tang. Let's see what's in this survival pack now. Okay, what we have here is... Okay, you got some fishing line and one single fish hook. That's probably like eight pound test maybe. Piece of sandpaper. It's got a sewing kit with needle and thread and a safety pin and buttons. I guess you get a hole in your sleep bag or your clothes and touch it up. And it's got some waterproof matches. Okay, sorry about that guys. It's really hot out here today. It's like 93 degrees out right now. The humidity right now is at 97% here in Florida. So it's quite hot. So anyway, so you got some one, two, three, four, five, six matches here. Got some sewing, a little kit. Not too bad, I guess, for a little survival. I think I add a couple more things to it with me. Maybe a fire starter instead of matches and I'd probably put in I don't know maybe some more hooks you only got one hook they'll probably add a couple more hooks to it I'm not sure what this piece of emery cloth for though maybe that's just a put a little tune up on your edge on your blade there I do like the oil fill compass though it's kind of nice all right fits all nice in there like I said it's not a full tang the tang stops right here so it's got a allen screw that holds it in place all right. As for sharpness, it says it's precision sharp, but it seems kind of dull right there. Let's go ahead and put a little quick edge on it with my with my camp sharpener. Take a swig of water here. All 
right. Let's go ahead and add a little sharpener to my camp sharpener, okay? Um, it's not very sharp right now. Okay. Oh yeah, much better. That definitely did it. Made it really sharp. Okay. Now right, let's go ahead and test out the blade, see how sharp it is. Got some paper here. Take a look. Yeah, it could be sharper. Alright. A little more sharpness on it. right now. This is some regular piping paper, computer paper. Not bad. Yeah, I could do a little bit more sharpening on it. There we go, that's much better. Took a little bit of doing, but it's much better now. Okay. Oh yeah, it's shaving sharp now, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and do some testing here. I've got some logs I'm gonna split with it. Okay, I try to split that split it in half right, let's try to split it again one more time. Ugh, see how it works. There we go. Split that pretty well. Okay, well we know we make kindling wood out of it. Now let's see how the edge held up. Ah, still fairly sharp. Yeah, it's still shaving too. That's nice. Alright, so we know it'll hold it good for making kindling wood, which all knives should do. Let's go ahead and try it on a piece of steak now. Okay, I got my dinner here tonight. It's gonna be a New York strip here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it up and add to my refried, refried beans, make a little Mexican dish out of it. So let's see how this thing cuts here. Look at there, nice and smooth, look at that. There you go. Great, okay, so that works good. Now let's try it on my refried beans. I make a dish with these refried beans and in this New York strip. I cook it and I put it in tortillas with peppers and mushrooms and onions. It's really good. It's going to be my dinner nice. Let's see how it opens up this can now, okay? See the edges stay there. Okay. The trick to making a can, although you got to keep your point toward the edge of the rim of the can, toward the outside rim, the point of your knife, so you want it kind of like this as you work it. That helps cut through the metal and helps uh, make it work good. There you 
go. Got my refi beans canned up. Okay. Go ahead and clean that tip off now. Let's see how it fare with the tip. Yeah, the blade's so sharp, but the tip did take a little bit of didn't it did dull a little bit the tip, so we need to put a little quick little edge on there. It makes these camp knives so well. Get this out of the way. That's gonna be dinner tonight. Yeah, this camp knife has three edges. Got one for a brand new edge, one to touch up an edge, and also a fine ceramic stone to hone it off. So let's see how this works. Okay. Yeah, that did. Put the edge right back on it. Yep. All right. There you go. All right. So it takes an edge pretty easily. Okay. Um, it's all all heavy duty aluminum, which is nice. It's got a fish scale or a saw on the back of it. Saw works good. So it works as a fish scaler too. Alright, it's got a tanto point on it. Let's check out the sheath. It comes with this ballistic nylon sheath, nothing fancy about it. Place to put it behind your belt, a little snap. Fits in there pretty well. Alright, yeah, there you go. Alright, so what do I think about this? It is quite hot here. Sorry guys, a little bit hot out here. Whew. So what do I think about this 8-inch survival knife from Harbor Freight for $8? Remember, it's $9.99 plus you get a 20% coupon. So it brings it to um, right $8. So is it worth it for eight bucks? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you saw you cut through this really heavy dry oak, which is really hard. It split that so it can't split firewood. Um, I'm sure it'll even try it this year. Let's try this here. It should split pretty easily. This stuff here. Oh yeah, look at there. So it'll split the kindling pretty well. Okay. All right. You can use it for chopping. Slicing, cleaning, open cans up, probably skin a deer with it, skin an elk with it. It's not a full tang though, so um, that's the only bad thing about it. It does have a lot of nice goodies inside it, which are kind of cool. I love the old fill compass in here. And you got plenty of room to store more stuff as well. Again, eight dollars, you really can't go wrong. Well, I take some hunt, sure, I'll throw those in my back in my in my pack and leave it in there. Use it around camp, I think it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, recommended eight dollars. You can't go wrong. I think you should buy it. I mean, for something to throw in a backpack, take on a day pack, take on a hunt, survival knife wise. Would I rely on this on a hundred percent survival? Probably not. I'd probably get a better quality knife for a hundred percent survival. But I'm gonna have some other knives and hatchets and stuff with me when I'm in, when I'm in my pack when I pack it up. That'll be done. Other series, I'll be putting together my whole pack, for my hunt coming up in Utah. Remember, I'm doing a self hunt in Utah, it's going to be on 21,000 acres of federal land. I'm going to be hunting by myself with a, just my bow, my backpack, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be gone for 10 days, basically living off the land when I'm there, um, and hunting elk. So I'll be a self hunt. I've never done a self hunt before for elk, so it'll be the first time, so I'm looking forward to it. So, and um, this will be the first part of, the, of multiple series going forward to my hunt in October. We're going to be comparing, we're going to be doing reviews on hammocks and tents and cooking utensils and gear and elk calls. Pretty much everything you need for the hunt. So one time I leave you, it'll be everything I'm taking with me on my hunt and you'll be able to go around the hunt with me, okay? All right, well guys, I want to thank you for watching. It's been Todd with All Things Archery and Shooting. And um, if you haven't clicked that like button, be sure to click, click it now. And also be sure to subscribe. And next to that subscription button, you'll see a bell. If you click that bell, I can notify you of upcoming videos that are coming out. So... Um, like I said, there's going to be a whole new series on this on this hunt coming up in on Utah in October. So be sure to look for that. Plus my regular series on bow reviews and arrows and archery and guns and shooting and stuff. So I want to thank everybody for their support. Um, I'm building this channel. I want to thank you everybody for helping me do that. The channel is really taking off and I really appreciate everything you're doing for me. And I enjoy making these videos for you. And if you like everything you see, please leave me a comment. I'll be sure to answer any questions I might have for you. And until next time, this has been Todd, All Things Archery and Shooting. Ciao.